All right, now I'm going to show you how to set up the two sensor gauge for a steer drive and trailer setup for a tractor trailer, like a dedicated tractor trailer. So go to the wrench icon and hit settings. And then we're going to arrow over until we see config inputs. And when you first get your gauge, it will have a slash line just like this. And what that means is that sensors one and two are independent. Um, so one will be for your drive and two will be for your trailer. Um, we could switch this to be averaged for like a dual height control valve drive just by hitting that button. It'll uh, connect the two sensors together. Um, but we want them to be separate, so we're just going to leave it like that. And then we'll go back. And now we have to name the axles. So we go to config names. And by default, axle one is steer and axle two is drive. So that would be like if you had an air steer, which is really uncommon. So we want to change axle one to be drive and axle two we'll call trailer A. All right, now go back. Now the next thing we'll want to do is turn on estimated steer if you want to use that. Um, and what that does is it bases the, calibrates the steer weight, but it bases it on the drive weight. So as air pressure gets added to the drive air bags, it uh, clocks along with the steer the way you calibrated it. So um, go ahead and hit right arrow, and then you see EST steer. So we'll go ahead and turn that on. Okay, and then we'll go back to the home screen and the weight screen. And we should have all three axles. We've got estimated steer, drive, trailer A, and total. So now we need to calibrate. Um, we've got a low pressure in the system right now, so we'll do our empty first. So, you know, we've got this message down here that says Cal needed. As long as that thing says Cal needed, there's still work to do. So um, we'll go back home and hit the wrench icon, calibration. And we'll do the steer axle first. So do estimated steer, enter in your empty weight. And you know, this is like, you just went over the cat scale, you got your ticket, you're still on flat level ground, brakes off, um, ready to, to calibrate. You know, you don't wanna do this like crooked on the side of the road or anything. So um, we'll enter in our empty from our ticket. So 11,700. Yes, to save it. Okay, now we'll do our drive. Empty. And we're 11, 960. Save. All right, now to get to the trailer, we just hit the right arrow. And you'll see that trailer A come up there. So we'll do trailer A, empty, and we're 13,100. So 13. Yes. All right. And we'll go back, look at our weight screen. So it should have all of our empty weights there. And our total 36,750 matches our total gross weight. Our cat scale ticket says 36,760, so that's good. But we still got Cal needed on there, which means we need to go back over the cat scale loaded um, and enter in our, our loaded weights. So I'm going to raise up the pressure in the gauge, and we'll go ahead and do that. All right, so I raised up the air pressure to simulate a loaded truck. Um, and so we'll go ahead and go through the same process for loaded. So go to wrench icon calibration and we'll do our estimated steer axle first get our ticket here so our loaded weight is 11800 so we'll do loaded eleven eight hundred yes okay then we'll do our drive loaded 34,960. All right, and then we'll arrow over and get to our trailer A. And we'll do loaded. 
at 33,100. Okay, and now we'll go back and look at our weight screen, and we should be all ready to go. So our cal needed has disappeared uh, because we've done all three axles empty and loaded. Um, our total gross of 79,700 is right there. And you're ready to go.